Hello, my name's Craig Smith. Quirasac from cncroom.com has asked me to put together a video on installing Mac 4 together with the Ethernet Smooth Stepper plugin. And the reason I think he's asked me is because he's done a version of the video, but it's in Thai. Not that many speak, people speak Thai around the world. So I'm going to give this a crack. I'm building my own CNC machine and I've had reason to install these quite a few times. This is meant to be a brand new install on a machine that I'm putting together for my friend who's doing a conversion on his Bridgeport mill. And um, what happened was the phone rang <laughs> several times. So I've, I'm now down to the third attempt or the fourth attempt at doing this. Anyway, getting started. The first thing you need to know is that not all Mac 4 versions are the same. We need a specific Mac 4 version to go with the Ethernet Smooth Stepper. Greg from Warp9 does a great job on his videos of explaining um, how to install and configure the Ethernet uh, Mac 4 for the Ethernet Smooth Stepper. This is a bit more for the novices like myself that have no idea which button to push. I'm not connected to the internet currently, so what I did was I just cut and pasted the page details so that I could lead you through it a bit. Um, if you go to the Warp 9, I don't have the web address there, unfortunately. You might be able to get it off along here, but I kind of doubt it. But if you just Google Warp 9, you'll find, you'll find your way to it. And if you go to Getting Started, and down the bottom here, it says Setting Up the Smooth Stepper in Mac 4. One of the things you've got to download is the System Configuration Utility. And there's a video here showing how to use the System Configuration Utility. And you just download the installer, most likely, and off you go, right? So now, look, unfortunately, I've already downloaded it and I've installed it. I wanted to go through and do the whole thing. There's a explanation below that you should read on at this address. Warp 9's, it's off that getting started drop-down menu. But if you don't want to go through there, you can just go straight to that. The other thing you need to download is... Um, the correct version of Mac 4. Here's the web address, which is sometimes it's a bit hard to navigate to some of these, so I've, I've put the web address in there so you can go straight to it. Down here, it says, here is a direct link to version 3.1.1.8. Okay, it's, and, and he's got here, please do not use version 2.9.1.4. So it's version 3.1.1.8 of Mac 4 that's required for the smooth stepper to function correctly. Apparently there's some issues with the, um, with the other version. So by clicking on that, you can go directly to that and, and download it. The other thing is you've got to download the uh, correct version of the Ethernet Smooth Stepper for Mac 4, the plug-in. Um, here it is here. It's build 186. So there's the web address shown above, and there's a bit of an explanation below. I won't go into that because you can read that in your own time. The last thing is from the um, from Wirasac and his... Um, CNC room, you've got to download the MB2 profile. I'm just looking for it. Here it is here. Mac 4 plug-in and MB2 profile. He actually supplies the Ethernet Smooth Stepper plug-in in there as well. But you may have to email him because when I was having a bit of trouble, he actually modified his MB2 profile to suit the 186 Ethernet Smooth Stepper build. So just give it, if you've got the board, and most likely that's the reason you're watching this, um, you may want to just email him and check that you've got the right one. So hopefully I've covered everything quickly there. I'm, I'm going to move right along because unfortunately I've already installed the SCU, so I'll, I'll just get it up and, and run it. Now it gives you a, a option to download Mac. I've already got that. Um, download the Ethernet Smooth Stepper plugin. I've already got that, and st or start the PC configuration. I'm just going to do that. When I watched Greg from Warp Nine, who's a great guy, he's helped me out a lot too. He just went straight into easy mode here. Seems to be the easiest, hence its hence its name. And what any any um, and unfortunately, this one's already found the, the, the Smooth Stepper. I was hoping to make it a bit harder. If you've got several. Um, adapter names there, you might find the easiest way to find it is here you can see status is up. I've got my 
control box switched on. I can't swing the camera around because it took forever to set it up. But if I if I turn it off or unplug the Ethernet cable and refresh details, it's gone down. So whichever one is the smooth step is connected to, you can just by um, disconnecting the cable and reconnecting it. I watch Greg do this and refresh the details. It's up again. Look, so that's the one. Okay, so you click on it and you ask it to configure everything. I'm going to do it again. I'm assuming it won't hurt to do it. And it's um, down here. It's looking for what it's got to find. Uh -huh. Okay, now there it's come up. And over here, it's pinging just to make sure. Uh, uh, Puerasac suggested I let it ping 10 times just to be absolutely certain. Um, it's up to two. I'm not sure I want to wait. But over here, you can see the the address it's at, 10.9.9.9, very important. And the, the adapter IP here, 10.9.9.2. This happens automatically when it finds the Ethernet smooth stepper, I think. However, Greg does a great video on how to set this up manually. So if you go to the Warp 9 website and look at the videos available, there's one of them on how to set up these um, addresses here manually. Okay, so look, I four is enough. I, I, I know because I did this before, so I'm going to shut it down. The next thing we have to do then is we want to... I'm going to open up a second instance of, of the File Explorer here and go to... This is Windows 10. I've, I've never used it before. See, so we're going to go to Mac 4 Hobby, which is installed off the root directory, which I sort of don't like doing. But anyway, if you go to Profiles and open that up, and here, the MB2, which is when you download it, I think it's zipped, so you unzip, if it is zipped, and just copy that across into Profiles, and you can see it's, it's already there, right? Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Then the next thing we have to do is, in the Mac 4 Hobby directory again, there's a folder called Plugins. So I'll open up Plugins. And you've got to grab, when you've downloaded the Ethernet Smooth Stepper plugin, I think that's zipped, unzip it, and these two files will be in it, warp 9 mac 4m 4 pw and the one below with the .sig extension there. So I'm just going to grab those two dudes there and copy them down into there. And that's it, guys. So I'm just going to bug out of here, and I think I can pretty much bug out of there. Now, the Mac 4 loader, I've, like I said, I've already installed Mac, so I do apologise, but it's a pretty simple pro process. They do, they do suggest you put it off the root directory on the C drive. I like putting it under program files, but anyway, this time I obeyed them. I didn't the last time. So if we double click on it, it comes up and you'll see the MB2 profile, which is basically just a machine definition. Um, and you can call it anything you want later, but for now, I'm just going to say, go for it. And um, you can see how that went for it. There. Here we go. And um, you can see how that went for it. There. Here we go. And it's looking for the smooth stepper, and you, there we go. It did it. I admit I'm pretty impressed, because the first 20,000 times I did this, I didn't realise the Ethernet cable, which was brand new out of the packet, had a, had a fault. So we go to configure, plugins, and you can see Ethernet smooth stepper. And if we go to general, we can check and see that there's the correct address there. I'm not certain. Uh, it seems like at warp 9, this explanation here of the buffer size, seconds... Um, maximum, it used to be a different system of measurement. It's it's amount of seconds now. So I'm just going to leave that. Um, the plug-in frequency, I'm not sure. It's better to watch Greg's video from um, Warp 9 on, on this, although this doesn't marry up. He did mention it that so many seconds is equivalent to another measurement. Anyway, I'm not being, I'm being a bit vague there. Motors and so you can see the pins have all been configured already. Motors we do later. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that. If you go to configure, Mac, and plugins, you can see the Ethernet smooth stepper walk 9 is, is ticked already. 
keyboards is actually ticked already. I had to do that myself last time. Every time you do something, if that was unticked and you had to tick it, you click OK, then you have to exit. Are you sure you want to? I'm just going to say, don't do that again. Start Mac 4. Again, and now it's saved those changes, any changes that you made last time. If we go here and have a look at configure Mac again, Greg covers all of this stuff in the video he does. The plugins, it's, look at that, it's dropped out, so I'm going to tick it. A restart is required. That's interesting. Apply, OK, and let's do a restart. Maybe I click the wrong one. And we can do a, a, a shortcut straight to the MB2 as well, which you can rename anything later. OK. Now, from here, if we hit the Enable, we should be able to load. I'll, I'll go to File and, and open a G-code file. The one that everyone seems to use is this Roadrunner. And the G-code files in Mac 4 and Mac 3, I guess, they have a TAP extension. I don't know what that stands for. Now, you should be able to run it. And over here on the screen, you can see it. And if it's running, we're looking good. You can bring in a text file. If you've output it from, I don't know, something like Mastercam and you've saved it out as a text file, it'll read that. If it's running, that's great. OK, so we'll stop that. I'll... Um, I'll close the G-code file down here. You can get to the G-code files down here or up there. The Just going back, by the way, we'll go to... Uh, you have to disable if you're going to do any configuring. Go to Mac and have a look at um, motors I won't cover. Motor 0 is normally the x-axis. Greg covers that. Other people cover that in different videos, axis mapping. But you'll notice that that a lot of... Ports, pins, inputs are all mapped out because of Wirasac's MB2 profile. Things still have to be done, but you can see here all of the input names are all in place. And if you download, if we go back to Wirasac's MB2 owner's manual, if you download that, he runs through that whole thing as well, just to double check everything is as it should be. So I'm just going to bug out of that because I don't want to change anything. You uh, might want to just try jogging. If you enable it, go into jog, jog mode. You can see it's either doing it by step or by continuous. And if we zero everything, and if we jog, jog the x-axis here, you can see it's working. I could not get that to work. The y-axis, we're working. OK? And z-axis is working. So if you can run G-code and if you can jog, that's a darn good start because that was a big hiccup with myself. So, look, I hope that's helped. I'm not sure if I covered enough, but those things are important that I pointed out. The correct version of, the correct version of uh, Mac 4, which is 3118, the correct version of wherever it is, the Ethernet Smooth Stepper plugin, which is build 186, and ask Wirasak for the correct version of the MB2 profile. But the profile being basically just a machine definition. It's the stuff that you would have to go through if you set up a profile from the word go fresh. So let's just let's just change Mac 4 mil here, for instance. If I right click on it properties and let's just change it. Anything behind the P here in the target, if you change that to, I should have just left it, space MB2, <laughs> MB2, Craig, listen to yourself, and in general, and you can just call that, you can call anything you want, like in my friend's profile I was going to call it uh, bridge port um, MB2, just so I know that there, have I spelt bridge correctly? I think so. Bridgeport, yep, MB2. Now, when I go here, it's a shortcut. There, <laughs> instance of Mac already running, is there? So there is, look at that. 
it's a shortcut straight to the MB2 profile. But if you've set it up on a machine that's a Haas or Haas or however you say it, or a Fanuc, and or your homemade one, well, there's your shortcut straight to your machine definition, so you don't have to keep going through the Mac loader here and, and clicking on the profile you want. I, look, I hope that's helped. So um, anyway, I'm going to pull the pin now. Wirasac, I hope that's what you wanted. Anyone that's got anything to add to that, please contact Wirasac. And um, if I've left anything out that's important, maybe you want to contact him as well. Thanks for watching.